In the fall of 2009, I decided to spend a day trying to locate and photograph white-tailed ptarmigan. And the best place near where I live to try is high up on Washington's tallest mountain, Mount Rainier. In order to get up to the alpine areas where the ptarmigan live, you have to work your way up these rugged, rocky ridgelines until you're basically beyond the last of the trees and in areas of alpine tundra. These birds are not easy to get to. The weather up there can be pretty fierce and is constantly changing. It's a really dynamic environment. It's exhilarating to be up there and see these clouds rolling by below you and fog pouring over ridges and through the valleys. Every now and then you'll get a break in the fog or clouds and suddenly see this massive icy mountain looming above you. So as far up as you are, you still see this really incredible terrain farther up. Once I got up to an altitude high enough, I began searching for ptarmigan and hiked through the terrain for three or four hours without finding anything. But finally, I came over a small rise and there was a group of these glowing white birds foraging on the ground. They were really beautiful to watch as they walked around in these low alpine plants and these purplish volcanic rocks. These birds were almost completely in their white winter plumage, which they attain in late fall. You can see a few grayish brown feathers on this bird, still left over from the summer plumage, which is primarily brown. After seeing this bird sitting camouflaged in the snow, I realized how easy it would have been for me to miss one when I was searching for them. All you could really see were the dark bill and eye and the bright red eye comb, which isn't always exposed. At one point, these birds bedded down in the snow to rest. They each dug their own little hole and just sat in it. The one shot that turned out to be my favorite from the day was this shot of four ptarmigan standing in the snow. They'd just gotten up from their resting spot to resume foraging, and each bird took a turn standing on tiptoes and stretching its wings. To me, this photo captures a bit of the hardiness of these birds. They looked totally at ease in their environment despite the snow and the fog rolling in in the background. They almost seem optimistic in this rugged, inhospitable environment they inhabit.